my first thought when I arrived here was, wow, because this is Wyoming. And like Wyoming, uh, Idaho shares that same I, uh, reputation or stereotype that somehow we're part of the Wild West and we have cowboy statues galore. And that's what the West is. But this place has really committed itself to contemporary art and this Wyoming Sculpture Invitational that began uh, in 2008 clearly established a pattern of wanting to go and look at different media that was being used to create contemporary art. Quite frankly, most everything that I've ever worked with for installation has come uh, as a fluke, as an accident. I grew up without any money, so always behind there's this personal aesthetic for let's make do with nothing, let's make something out of nothing. Well, hot glue to me represents nothing. At the time that I discovered hot glue as a sculptural media, I was working with twine, specifically unraveling two to three miles of rope and twine, manila and sisal to create uh, site-specific work at the University of Idaho. And I was in the kitchen, and I had broken my husband's favorite teacup. He was out of the house, and I thought I would um, sneakily fix it. And I didn't have any super glue, but I had hot glue. So I set up the hot glue gun on the counter and began to try to fix it. And I spilled the hot glue. And then I looked at it froze in this little tiny bit of water that was on the counter. And I went, oh my, look at this, and instantly said, a moment frozen in time. I will always remember that moment, an instant frozen in time. So that connection again between material and natural phenomena and the notion of time. So that was already working itself into my brain, but here was a new material. However, I had an installation to put together, and I said, FOT, focus on task, and I wasn't able to really work with the potential of it until that summer. After my exhibit was over with the, the rope and the twine, I went back and began to do studies on the hot glue. I was determined that this could work for me, and it did. It truly was a fluke. Hot glue, I mean, how boring does that get? But it's commonplace. Two installations ago, I created a piece for Suyama Space in Seattle. And that was my first experience with getting all of the glue strands installed and then taking the scissor to it. I mean, in a way, it was painful because you think, oh, you've put all this work into making 2,000 strands and then snip, snip like a haircut. But the more I did, the more I saw that that's really, that's where it stopped being just an installation and it became a sculpture. And so this is a real interesting hybrid for me between installation and on-site sculpture. They're, they're very different beasts, I think. I've always been busy making things or solving things, figuring things out, and I think the part that I like most, uh, if I was really honest with myself, is that notion of setting up a challenge for myself, which a site-specific installation will do, and figuring out how to make it happen. The math, the engineering, all of which are difficult for me, that too I love. The materials are a part of it. It's making something happen where there wasn't something before. Going into a space for me and changing that space so that people can experience it. Also responding to the architect's design philosophy and his concept. So, in some ways, it's a rhyme between architect and artist. For me, it's play, it's process, and having these opportunities to exhibit is like having the most grand conversation. This video has been made possible by the Wyoming Arts Council and the UW Art Museum Gala Funds.